Hey guys, it's Rory from ANS Gear here to show you the uh, Tipman TPX pistol. Uh, this is their newest, uh, greatest handgun that's out uh, by Tipman, the TPX. I'll show you which comes in the box when you buy the standard TPX uh, setup. You got the nice case with the foam uh, foam inserts. You got a parts kit, comes with a uh, barrel plug, with the strap, pull through squeegee, instruction manual, all the goods. Comes with your gun, and it comes with uh, obviously a magazine and a spare magazine, which is always nice. You can have uh, two magazines right out of the gate, fill them up with BBs, and ready to rock and roll. Now we're gonna pull these out, close this up, and set it to the side here. Give you some uh, some stats and some facts on the gun itself. Now. The barrel for the TPX is A5X7 threaded, so you can pull it out, see the threadings on there. This will make it uh, expandable for easy barrel or uh, longer barrels, different bore size barrels. The only problem, or th I wouldn't really say a problem, but the only issue you might run into is if the barrel that you want to put into the TPX, if it's thicker than the hole right here, if it's got any kind of milling contours or anything like that, you're going to have a problem getting it in the barrel. So I know TPX is going to be making, or a Titman will be making barrels. Other people will make barrels that will fit this. And again, it is A5 threaded. Threads right in there. Now, starting from the front, obviously, for the barrel. Down here, this is the gas port rate. This is where the 12 gram CO2 cartridge, which is, you know, a cartridge like this is going to go into the gun. Now this here it requires only a quarter turn and you can pop it out. As you can see it is not threaded. Okay so what that means is what you can what will happen is you're going to drop the CO2 cartridge in like this. You're going to put your cap on, lock it in place with a quarter turn like that and the CO2 cartridge is not punctured. What happens is the first pull of the trigger will puncture the CO2 cartridge and that will release the gas into the gun. So it's very easy to swap out CO2 cartridges. You don't have to worry about having a tool to twist them in or having um, a front cap that's got a lot of threading on it that you actually have to force by hand to puncture the CO2 cartridge. It's all done with the trigger pull. So it makes it very easy to change out cartridges uh, if you're wearing gloves or if your hands are dirty, you got paint on them and everything's slippery. This is going to make it very, very easy. Uh, you've got a Picatinny rail down here. You want to mount a laser. You want to mount uh, a tack flashlight. Uh, anything you can mount uh, to a Picatinny rail, you can fit it on the bottom side right here. All right. Metal trigger. Again, we talked about the trigger puncturing the CO2 cartridge uh, on the first trigger pull. you got your safety right there. You've got... An interesting feature on this gun. Here I've got some reball. I'm going to take some reball. These cartridges or these magazines hold uh, eight balls. So I'm going to pull this down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this little tab right here is going to hold them in place so they don't pop out when they're inside there. Now when we go to put it in, if you look along the side right here, there's three little windows on the grip right here. And those little windows you can actually see through into the gun. You can actually see it moving right there. And that's going to show you if you've got uh, paintballs inside there. So you can glance at the side of the gun and know if you're getting close to having to reload with these magazines or if, uh, if you have enough paint in there to keep on shooting. Uh, it's a handy way of knowing if you're running out of paint, basically. And those windows are on both sides, so you can see through. Now the magazine itself, uh, like I said, holds eight paintballs. Nice thing about these magazines is when they go up into the gun, they're actually spring-loaded inside there on the release. So if I just push the mag release button right here, it shoots out. That's going to make it very easy to drop the magazine into your hand. All right. 
So you can drop it right in, switch mags easily, go with the next one. Again, the magazine has a spring system, so it will launch itself right out. Now coming around to the back side of the, the gun back here, we have an external velocity adjuster. It's adjusted with just a standard Allen key right there. So you can uh, you know change your feet per second on the gun very easily. And then also this port right here, right there. this will be used um, if you wanted to run a remote line on the pistol. So instead of having to deal with 12 gram CO2 cartridges, you can actually plumb into this and run a remote line and just continuously shoot um, CO2 or compressed air and never have to change cartridges out. Um, overall, the gun is very lightweight. Um, since they have the CO2 cartridge up in the front here, the grip is very, very thin. It's comfortable in your hands. And since there's no CO2 cartridge in the magazine, the magazines are a lot lighter, so it's easy to carry more of them. Plus, they're much, uh, much more inexpensive because you don't have to have any valving in them or any seals or anything like that. It's just a, a magazine that's going to hold paintballs, and that's all you really need it to do. Again, this is the uh, the new TPX pistol from Titman Pneumatics. Check it out and many other products at ansgear.com.